Let remember this, the Lord wants this in your spirit. Let your weaknesses become your strength. How will you, how will you get your weakness, your strength? By inviting the king of power into your weaknesses. Inviting Jesus and his mighty Holy Spirit into your weaknesses, knowing that these are your weaknesses. Your weaknesses will become your strength. The things where the devil thought he's going to nail you in and he's going to make you fall become a strong area in which even you set others free. Let your weakness, your now weakness, become your future victory where you set even others free. Meaning that now you become more than a conqueror. You are setting others free. You cannot cast out the devil out of others if you cannot cast out the devil out of your own life. You should cast him out of your own life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Many times the devil wants your mind. There's a battle for your mind. You should not give him your mind. Give your mind to Jesus. Cast the devil with all his nonsense out of your mind. In Jesus' name. Sit quickly, but open your ears wide. Boom. Listen to what Holy Spirit is saying to you now. Do not give your mind to evil. Do not give your mind to fruitless nonsense. Many times the devil will give you imagination just to keep your mind busy. It is, he knows you're a Christian, and when he gives you evil thoughts, you will fight that and say, oh, I don't want that. Now, the devil also, he uses tactic. He will give you just stupid things to meditate on. Not necessarily evil sin, but just things that is fruitless. You are wasting away your minutes and your seconds. You've got a certain amount of minutes and seconds and hours and days and years in which you need to live out your purpose. Your purpose get birth by your meditation. Your meditation should be inspired by the Holy Spirit and God's Word. When you meditate on His Word and you meditate together with the Spirit, you meditate on your future and your meditation make your future grow, make your destiny grow. Make your calling grow in your life. If you fail to meditate on your, on your calling, if you fail to meditate together with the Spirit, you will not have enough firepower to live out your destiny. You will only go halfway. That will not be good. It's not good to go halfway. You will not go all the way if you do not have the firepower to go all the way. That's why Jesus said to his apostles, do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for, for the promise of the Father. Say, the promise of the Father I'm waiting for. This promise of the Father comes by faith, remembering the words of Jesus, meditating together with the Holy Spirit. Meditating together with the Holy Spirit, remembering and coming to your mind the words of Jesus. And you will hear His voice as you meditate on the Spirit, together with the Spirit, and as you meditate on God's Word. You will hear the voice of the Holy Spirit. You will hear the voice of Jesus. So the devil wants to captivate your mind with fruitless fantasy nonsense. In Afrikaans noem ons dit lichtkastele bou. Jou lichtkastele gaan jou niks in die sak bring nie. Niks nie. Fruitless waste of minutes and seconds which are precious. You got one more life on this earth to live out your destiny and your purpose. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. You meditate together with the Spirit. If you meditate together, meditate together with the Spirit, you will meditate on His Word. His Word will speak to you as if Jesus is speaking directly from heaven to you. Because His Word is His Word. It's not a fairy tale. His Word is His very Word to you to, today. And fresh as if He's speaking to you right now this morning. In Jesus' name. His Word can never become old. His word will be all to you if you're not in step with the Spirit. But if you're in step of, with the Spirit, every word in the Bible is new and fresh and powerful and encouraging to you. And remind you of your, your, your destiny in Jesus Christ. Say to the guy next to you, be strong in the grace that is in Jesus. You cannot be strong in yourself. Be strong in the grace that is in Jesus. 
There's no grace outside of Jesus. Jesus is God's grace unto us. There's no other grace but Jesus. Everything points to Jesus. He's the fulfillment of every prophecy in the Bible. And we're living in the end times where the Holy Spirit is bringing every prophecy ever prophesied into fulfillment now. And I'm excited about it. You say, when is the end times? I don't know. The Bible says he comes as a thief in the night. How must I know? You say, Pastor, are you not prophetic? Do you not know? The Bible says, I know in part and I prophesy in part. We do not know at all. I mean, and we do not know the hour when he's coming. We do not know the hour. But let me tell you, the Bible is very clear about that. Don't be deceived. He's coming with great glory and power like you've never seen.